胖虎。Susan Cigar here with Frank Mir at the opening of an MMA-themed restaurant called Ground and Pound in Boynton Beach, Florida. So, Frank, what do you think of this new MMA-themed restaurant, Ground and Pound? Uh, I think it's awesome. I mean, so far, obviously, the uh, turnout has been unbelievable. Uh, I really like the setup inside. It's a great atmosphere. But uh, you know, more to the point, I'm just so impressed that at this point in the, the MMA world, that you can actually open up a UFC MMA themed sports bar and it have this kind of turnout. You know, I was taking a look at the menu, and it seems there's uh, most of the items on the menu are named after fighters. Now, I was talking to my cameraman before, and we noticed that your name doesn't have a menu item. What's up with that? Uh, I'm just more picky, so I'm trying to really make sure I have one that's pretty good. Something like a chicken wing that's broken or something. We're trying to figure out some kind of joke about it. Oh, a chicken wing that's broken. Oh, gee, that would be very, very, very interesting. I can't understand why you would come up with that. Uh, it'd be very <laughs> appropriate, right? <laughs> So what's up next for you, fight-wise? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, actually, I'm waiting for these fights to kind of clear a little bit, and then hopefully within the next week or so, uh, you know, my manager team can figure out what's next for me. Uh, you know, Josh Barnett it just got signed with the UFC. I really think that would be a phenomenal fight. I think that's something that the fans have talked about a lot on the internet, as far as you know, who's a better catch wrestler. And I think that uh, you know, I'd be more than happy to welcome him into the UFC, and I think that'd be a great fight. Yeah, he's mentioned, I read online that he's really looking forward and mentioned that he really would be very interested in fighting. You think you match up stylistically well with him then? Oh, obviously I do. I think that, uh, you know, I think that he's uh, not afraid to grapple with me, which I think would be one of his uh, downfalls. Now, one other quick question. You watched the CFA fights last night, and one of the big issues at CFA was this whole transgender thing with uh, MMA and fighting. Do you have an opinion on that? Well, I think that it's already something that's been established. I mean, I know I realize that... Uh, it's a hot topic and it's interesting to bring up, but I think it's already something that other sports that are legitimate, and that's one thing MMA is trying to always be is have to, to solidify our legitimate status. And all I do is whenever the question gets posed, I'm like, well, guys, it's already been answered. If she was in, you know, uh, basketball, could she compete on the female team or the male team? You know, so pro sports have established it. And on an amateur level, if you're in the Olympics and we were competing internationally, if she was on track and field, would she be for the girls or for the boys? And so I think that in itself is, you know, uh, uh, you know, has already established a clear rules of, uh, uh, of understanding on what we consider gender. And, you know, obviously I'm not going to ever take away her right to compete, but just as far as in which class she competes in, uh, well, I feel that it's safer just to go ahead and go the route of what already has been established in the other major sports. And one final question. Rumor has it, maybe you told me last night off camera, yeah. that you may be moving to South Florida? <laughs> well, not a full move, because my wife and obviously our kids are in private school and they do the Challenger system, which is, uh, I, there's one of the things my kids want to move here and we had to look around on the internet like, oh, there's not a Challenger school here, kids. But as far as getting a second residency, my wife's been talking about having a vacation home for the last three or four years now. We got to get a home somewhere. Northern California has always been up on a high topic because of her Sacramento roots. I like Washington a lot just because I'm very much into wanting to get the opposite. Well, you know, I was born and raised in a desert, so Washington is about the opposite you can. We possibly need you get. here, Frank Mir. We need you but here. But then I came out here, and again, you know, my father's from Cuba, so I have a lot of uh, that heritage that you know I've always got to hear from him and you know, his side of the family. Everybody's, you know, I have aunts and uncles that I don't communicate with because they don't speak English uh, very well. So. Um, so that being said, when I came out here, it was very interesting to come here. And, and there's so much of Cuban culture here. That's, it, it's almost like I get to, you know, the stories my father told me and some of the dialect, even some of the phrases that I remember as a kid, you know, I'm like, oh, I know what that means, you know. <laughs> that's not a good thing right now. You're not happy with me, are you? <laughs> yeah, those Cuban people do seem to have all those little sayings that are, uh, well, they're very emotional, so to speak. Uh, we would so welcome you here in South Florida. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, no. I'm going